Rip X by Hidden Mix is one of the most extensive programs for stem separating. One example is removal or isolating of a vocal in an existing song. And Rip X has the ability to remix, process and tune instruments inside an already existing mixed and bounced audio track. It can even record audio and replace instruments inside an audio track with other instruments. Now there are three modules you can get for Rip X, and each does something different. In this video I'll focus on the Deep Remix and Deep Create modules. This video is made with this version and I have it on my PC for quite a while now and one of the major things a software like RepX will be used for is the ability to either remove or extract a vocal. Here is a snippet of a track by Tamus and one by The Hoop Shrubber which I always use for these tests because they are challenging for this type of software. Here is the Tamus track. I have it split up in guitars, drums and more. Vocal and solo is pretty okay. Remember that this is a very difficult track to extract vocals from. Removing vocals is perfect. The Hoopschrauber track is always great for checking how bass guitar gets isolated. And as you hear, it sounds pretty okay. Usually in the second half extracting softwares fail, but not RepX. The vocals get extracted in a great way. I'm nestled in your stomach now You'll never get me out Parasite Swallow me whole. Removing is also no problem at all In this track it's usually the synth which causes issues with extracting software. And as you can hear, no problem for Rip X. I did encounter something weird with extracting. Here's an acoustic guitar track with vocals I was asked to mix. The song was recorded live with a mic for vocal and one for guitar. I wanted to reduce the vocal bleed in the acoustic guitar a bit, but Rip X gives some weird artifacts. The original audio isn't squeaky clean, but I cannot explain the noise in RipX. You made it so far in the video, please make sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest new cool plugins and hardware. RipX Deep Remix has some very powerful remix and adjusting features which can be very useful. For instance here with this synth, I can quickly and easily add harmonies by simply dragging this note up and duplicate it. And here's the Tamus track again. If I click here, you get these options. Stereo does panning. And you have tone control. Guy 
you have even more control, like tuning. Take this orchestral recording. There's this part which sounds out of tune. It's because of these two notes. Let me quantize and flatten these pitches. Now it's like this. This was before. After. This ability can actually improve your mix by quite a bit, especially when there's some off playing. Works better than trying to fix it in the mix. You can take it even so far to tune an entire orchestra. If you want to put this unsavory processing into practice is a whole different discussion. There was a question in the comments of a video of mine how to pan a certain part in an orchestral recording. Well Deep Create can actually do that. Let me select these trumpets and use this other stereo panning to move them in the stereo field. Now they are on the right. Very powerful. In the Deep Create module you can use the built-in sounds, or a sample, or snapshots of VST3 instruments. The built-in sounds are too general MIDI sounding. Samples make sense because you can actually swap out let's say a kick or a snare easily. VST3 creates a snapshot of a VST3 sound. I would love to see a proper MIDI to VST instrument implementation in RipX. The plugin already extracts the notes and instruments in an excellent way. Why not tie that to an actual MIDI output so you can load VST instruments and tweak it in RipX? All in all, RipX by Hidden Mix is a very deep, comprehensive package and absolutely worth checking out if you're into stem separation. The video on screen will show a comparison between vocal removing softwares, it's also linked in the description below.